Look at this girl coming out of a plastic slide. Her hair is sticking out. Why does this happen? This is due to electric particles. Let us perform a simple activity to learn more about electric charge. Take a plastic ruler or a comb and bring it near small bits of paper without touching them. Nothing happens. Now, rub one end of the ruler and again bring it near the paper bits. You will see that the paper bits are attracted to the ruler. This is because when the ruler is rubbed, it acquires a static electric charge which attracts the paper bits. Static electricity is also called friction electricity and lasts only for a short time. Do you think it is due to the same reason that dust settles again and again on a TV screen? Think of more examples you may come across daily and make a list of them. Static charges are of two types, positive charge and negative charge. When an ebonite rod is rubbed on wool, the rod develops a negative charge. Hang an ebonite rod rubbed with wool to a stand and bring another similar ebonite rod near it. You will observe that they repel each other. Now, bring a glass rod rubbed with silk near the ebonite rod. You will observe that they attract each other. From this, we can infer that like charges ripple and unlike charges attract each other. All substances are made up of small particles of matter called atoms. These atoms have equal number of positive and negative charges and are electrically neutral. When a substance is rubbed, some negative particles are transferred from one to another. The substances from which the negative particles are removed become positively charged and the other substance becomes negatively charged. These particles are present in all atoms and are called electrons. Do you know that substances can be charged even without rubbing them or even touching them? How does this happen? When a negatively charged rod is brought near a neutral body, the negative charges in the body move towards the other end, creating a positive charge on the side nearest to the rod. This action of charges when two bodies are brought together is called induction. What do you think will happen when the charged rod is removed? The charges in the body will mix once again and become neutral. This means that the induced charge exists only as long as the charged body is nearby. How would you identify an electric charge? Electric charges can be detected and also identified using a simple device called electroscope. The electroscope consists of a copper or aluminium rod to one end of which a metal disc is attached. To the other end, two thin metal leaves are attached. Gold is used in some cases when the electroscope has to be made highly sensitive. This rod is fitted into one hole rubber cork and inserted into a conical flask as we can see here. Touch the metal disc of the electroscope with a neutral body. You will observe that the leaves remain closed. Now, touch the metal disc of the electroscope with a charged rod. The leaves repel each other and fly apart. This is a test for a charged body. You must have observed metallic pointed rods on the rooftops of tall buildings and wondered what they are. These are called lighting conductors and prevent any damage due to lightning. The metal rods are made of copper and are buried in the ground. When a lightning strikes the building, the charges freely flow directly to the ground and not the building. This prevents any damage caused to the building.